Hi, welcome to the video. Today we'll be going to do scaled um, partial pivoting or also known as scaled column pivoting for numerical analysis. So it's part of the direct method for solving linear equations. So what is scaled, par scaled partial pivoting? is basically just getting ratios uh, for your matrix to solve a Gaussian elimination matrix. So what does that mean? I think it will be better explained with an example. So let's take this example and try solve it using scaled partial pivoting. So the first step we need to do is analyze each row. So let's start with the top row and find the highest number within the variable matrix. So here, the biggest number is 0 0.07. <coughs> and I'll write that as our S1. All right, let's do that for the second row, third row, and fourth row. So we'll have S2, S3, and S4. Here we have 0 0.1 as our largest number. Here we have 0 0.1 again. And for the fourth row, we have 0 0.1 again. So now, then we know the biggest number of each row. Here's where we scale them out comparatively. So the first thing we need to compare is row one, I mean column one. In column one, we have a one, one, equal to 0 0.05 we have the next one equal to 0 0.07 next one equal to 0 0.06 and the next one equal to 0 0.05 and what we need to do is divide these values by their highest number so that's 0 0.05 we divide it by 0 0.07, see what value we get. The next one, 0 0.07, we'll need to divide that by its highest, which is 0 0.1. The next one, 0 0.06, we'll have to divide by 0 0.01, I mean 0 0.1. And I hope you're getting the pattern, 0 0.05 divided by 0 .0, 0 0.1. Let me grab a calculator. If you can hear noise outside, sorry for that. Seem to be having a party outside. Anyway, let me just get the answers for each. 5 over 7, which is 0 0.704. If I'm wrong about any of these calculations, please let me know in the comments. So once we know the ratio for the row, what we need to see now is which value is the highest once again. And that is 0 0.714, bigger than the rest. So what this means for our row is that this row here is not going to be interchanged with any other row and we're going to keep it the same so if let's say for example this value the third row was biggest out of all of the rows would take this third row and interchange it with the first row so that the largest comparative 
value can be at the top. I hope that makes sense. So now we've established that we don't need to swap the first row because it has the highest comparative value for the first column. So from this stage, we can now eliminate the other rows using the first row. So the transformations we want to make here is E2 minus say M1, E1 and here E3 equation 3 minus the division ratio E1 also and then E4 minus M1 U. Actually, this should be M2 and M3 because there'll be different ratios. So we know what E2, E3, E4 are. They are just these equations. We need to figure out what the, the multipliers are gonna be. So let's do that. M1, I want to write it nearby so that you can see the matrix there. So I'll write it here on the side. M1, we need to take this first equation divided by 0 0.05 to make it 1. And we need to multiply it by 0 0.07. So that makes it 1 and multiplies it by 0 0.07. So that value will eliminate that 0 0.07. I hope that makes sense. Because it will be 0 0.07 minus 0 0.07 effectively. And then we have to do that for the entire row. So as long as you have this ratio, you know, these three values should get eliminated. I know that that statement was a bit complicated, but the example should make sense. So let me work this out. This gives 7 over 5 to be exact, but the inexact value is 1.4. Okay, it's still the exact value. Let's move on to 1.2, I mean M2. M2, again, divide equation 1 by 0 0.05, multiplied by 0 0.06. And we have 605, 1.2. So now for each row, we apply these equations. I'm gonna push the paper up so you might not see this matrix, but keep these equations in mind. I'm gonna use these equations to get new values in the matrix. So let's do that. Still have a 4x4 four four matrix. The first row stays the same. These values will become 0. The next value, let me just calculate it so you can see 0 0.1 minus. 1.4 multiplied by 0 0.07 that gives us okay mm, let me get a decimal value this turns out to be 0 0.002 Next one, 0 0.08. And 0 0.08 minus 1.4. 
four. Mm-hmm. 